Hi everybody, and welcome back to another adventure with me, Erin. Today, of course, Ghost Trick is here, and this might or might not be the finale. I am not too sure how long this game is anymore, but it's not too long before we finally figure out who we are. So let's continue. What was that rumbling? We don't know. That was nothing. Haha. <laughs> and that's pretty much the whole story. Yeah, it is. And if you missed it, please click on the link shown right now. Thank you. Yes, that is the link to click if you want to watch the entire series on my channel, because this is the playlist for it. You're still here? Then you haven't clicked the link, and uh, hopefully we can return to this pre-story. Let's go. The only way left to do now is wait for the water pressure to cross this submarine. Oh no. There are no cores that link here from the water sur to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up the phone line, and there are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for the submarine to be a coffin. Coffin for the dead. There is no escape. Can we at least tell me who we are? I think I kind of understand now. What you've been feeling these ten years. You what? This feeling. Cut off from the world. All alone in the submarine, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Oh, she's so understanding. Camilla woke up. Lynn? Camilla! Is it true? We're stuck here? What? Oh. Um. My dad. If my dad was here, I bet he'd save us. God. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go through all the trouble of detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal the Temzig fragment and escape, if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm, that's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter why now. We'll never find it again. I've no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! Yes we do! It's true! This will tell us where Detective Jout is. That present from the inspector in white. That's right, Detective Jout told me to hold on to it for him. And the bullet is still in this person's body in the command room, right? Well, it should be true. Now we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. Uh, how do we get to it? Even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? Exactly. We should be able to figure out something out between the three of us. With our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Right. Oh, and wait a minute. What about our torpedo? The torpedo? In any case, it's way too early to give up. Hmm, looks like Detective Chowd is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. Not oh, sure. Okay, what do I do? Hey, now I can see this guy's course. That's, uh, strange. So his shell is definitely here in there. They're in a the command room, right? Just without the fragments. It's there, yeah, but I don't think. Uh, I don't know about calling it a shell. Detective Jout's watch will tell us exactly where it is. Right, he said it was a radio receiver, didn't he? There might still be another torpedo in the submarine. If we use it, we can get to Detective Jout. That's a brilliant plan, Detective. You think so? <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? Right at the top of the torpedo? Of course not. You guys are going to go. Darn. I kind of wanted to see that. <laughs> me too. Did you want to see me drown? I basically already did. So now what? Uh, let's operate this. There we go. Somebody wants some grapes? Why is this machine serving grapes at me? 
Well, this looks like the private cabin of the top officer, doesn't it? This machine is probably for feeding him grapes when he lies in bed. Oh, it sounds heavenly. I've been thinking about this for a while now. But don't you think the country's use of technology is just a little off? Says the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, looks like the arm of this machine is a bit busted. Oh, it looks like... Can I dial? I can go to the torpedo room. Their torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're going to use a missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. I don't want to blow Detective Shout up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room, too. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there, then. I don't know how they're gonna do that, but... Fuck it. They did. Looks like the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing you have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. I'll enter the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo. There we go. And just turn on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try. Good luck! My thank you. Okay. Uh, the switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken? But I don't think the entire device is broken, though. It will probably work just fine if I can only move this switch. We'll just have to find a way to move it somehow. But I can't do it with my powers alone. Yeah, I know what to do. Say, Miss Elk, could you maybe help me out here? What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength, Miss Elk? Me? Of course I will. Count on it! Okay, good. Jesus, that took forever. Okay, let's switch these switches around. Ha! Huh. Fun. Let's go back to Sissel. And... There we go. Armed and ready. There we go. The torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end, too. But something's odd. What is? Command room. Looks like it's sinking slower. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Right. Hop to the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. Trick time. What's... Hoppity hoppity hop on this. I've already set the torpedo's course. I'll head towards the command room where Detective Chowd is. Twelve seconds after launch, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. That'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Right. Come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry, I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lena and Miss Camilla behind. I can't do it. Missile. I swapped the switches so that missiles can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sizzle. Uh, I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. Okay, so be it. I'll do it myself. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn! You staying here won't change our fate. But if you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen. And that's her only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never, ever again. Even I can understand that. I couldn't stand it. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camilla? I know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other again. Don't worry. 
Me escapé la! No. No, brave little guy. That's a good boy, missile. Oh, brave little twerp. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw the switch. We're ready. Ha! <laughs> Would be something if we could miss those 12 seconds. <sighs> Would be an interesting game. Sissel? Yes? We never found out who you really were. But that doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you. For everything. And I'm glad I met you, detective. But we're going to see each other again, right, sissy? Right, missile? That's right. We promise, little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes, then. Good luck, friend. Oh, so dramatic. So awesome. <sighs> okay, let's go! 12 seconds. Keep my finger on the button. Click. Oh, that's not exactly right. There we go. These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light, of hope, reach this far down into the deep sea before I can think of an answer? The 12 seconds are up. I don't even have to do anything, but of course, you know, if you would miss this, then you're pretty much fucked. Detective Jowd. I bet that big masked man did this. I'm going to bite him. You better not. You might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and is sinking. So I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Let's talk to Detective Jowd. Oh, well, let's do that. There's nothing else we can really do. Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. Who... who are you? Aren't you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. How's Camilla? What about Lynn? Well... It's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine Yanoa. So the submarine is badly damaged? Why would he do this to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. Because he's afraid of my powers. You! You follow us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jod. Are you... Yomiu? So you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name. Yomiu. That's right. But those people in the Inoa were calling you Sissel. That's just an alias I was using for my deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you. Right, Detective? Right. Okay, um, I'm looking at the time, but I'm gonna do this in this episode. This is just the last episode, I think, I hope, about you, Mew. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer, what's that? By the way, I'm a top Primori. <laughs> God, that's not what he meant. Okay, well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got rubbed into joining that project. Project? What project? It was a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multidimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top pom Pomeranian would know anything about. A top dog. To me, it just sounds like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. 
I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. Yo Mew. How was the guy who built the core of the system? The police arrested you, and then the incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Chow, when I was it when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Emil. Real motive. Ten years ago. My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in this world, no question about that. But nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I feel kind of bad for the guy. I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described is exactly right. Sinking slowly toward the bottom. See. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And all I and I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know that what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as if I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. A deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them, but what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? New beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical recept receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die. Surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. A completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask the national government to help me. And their response, in the end, was betrayal. Well, kids, there you go. Valuable lesson from Ghost Trick. Nationals are bad. Well, at least these are. I don't know, the country isn't really specified and it's just blah blah, revenge this and so forth and stuff and stuff. Anyway, betrayal. They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And. They even figured out what Temzik was all about. And you had no idea they were doing all this. None at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go through all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Temzik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incidents, research was conducted in this country too. 
A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's powers. By Inspector Cabanelli and the old pigeon guy, eh? At first, the government didn't relieve the report. Then, they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, eh? It just looks like an ordinary piece of park. But there are armed agents there at all times. Ha! <laughs> I never even knew. Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, not him. He's just a plain old dog person. Ah, okay, that's good. <sighs> the park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Tempsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy the park in order to secure the Tempsic meteorite. So that's it, eh? So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah, it's the ending I deserve. But at least one other thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to see me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing Detective Zhao back to life, of course. What? What good would that do now? But we promised! You promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla we'd save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Jowd. No, that is a good point. I've been guided to, by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Alright, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go again. Back four minutes before your death. Rewind. So, where are we headed? We're not headed anywhere, detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away. We will run out soon, and that will be our destination, detective. What are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here too. Yeah, for him it doesn't really matter. By the way, I'm not human, detective. Yeah. Pretty obvious from the glowing eyes. I'm a remote-controlled robot, detective. What? Your country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot, detective. <laughs> I don't know which country to place them in, I'm not gonna mob bother in that. Why would you go to all the trouble of do to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility? What are you talking about? There is no need for you to know, detective. Now it's time to say goodbye, detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, detective. Her, Camilla, forgive me. Okay. Duck, duck, duck. How can he like? To Wait a second. This this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You know, if he according to, according to gravity, he's supposed to lie like way over there in the corner. But okay. it isn't over yet. It isn't. Remember what that big bass man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning the situation around. I got it. I have an idea. And I got this idea, of course, from the last time I played this, but seriously! Look. Huh? What is it, detective? Look at Yamil's shell. There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temzik fragment is gone. Could this change his shell? Give us some kind of lead? figured it out. 
I know it's this possibility, no matter how small it is, they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the powers of Temzik. His body cycled between moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Temzik fragment has been taken away. Exactly, so what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Temzik fragment was removed, my shell became a corpse. So let's see, that means... We can go back? Back to four minutes before your death? But wait a minute. Exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out. When we get there, let's move! <laughs> That's still very good, detective. Okay, so I'm looking at the time and... You know what? I'm gonna be mean. I'm gonna... Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. Okay. This is just gonna be a long episode. Okay. Let's do this. You know what? Nope. This is not going to be a long episode. This is going to be for the next episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Are you as excited as I am? Are you? Are you? Because I am. I'm very, very, very pumped right now. So I'm going to record the next episode right after this one. And you guys have to wait. Na, 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 na. You guys have to wait. Nah, that's okay. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. Join me again tomorrow, probably, uh, for the last hopefully, episode of Ghost Trick where we may or may not finally figure out who we are. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and please, please, please have a great day. See you next time. Bye! Sapling bush. I love bush. I, I have a love bush, not the present. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's, uh, it's not very good, yes. Really? That's a reference you're going to make in the present. I think you might have dirty enough. You made the joke. <laughs>